Now, 2.27 million Singaporeans will start receiving their poll cards to vote in the presidential election from today. But if for any reason you don't receive the poll card in the mail, there's now another way to get it. Sharon Tong tells, takes us through the polling process on August the 27th. For the second time this year, Singaporeans will be headed to the polls. This time, it's to pick the country's head of state. The Elections Department is emphasising the dignity of the office at stake. As such, it's pulling out all the stops to make sure the voting and counting process on August 27th will go smoothly. Besides sending out more election officials to facilitate the polls, the Elections Department is also hoping to cut short the time it takes for voters to cast their vote. Besides bringing along the crucial identification documents like the NRIC or passport to the polling stations, voters should also bring their poll cards to facilitate checks by election officials so as to shorten the waiting time. Those who do not receive their poll cards in the mail can now print it out from the Elections Department website. This is a new service that is being introduced for the first time. On polling day, voters will be issued the ballot paper at the polling stations. The ballot paper will have all four candidates' names, photos and symbols printed on it in black and white. Voters should mark an X in the empty box next to their choice. Measures have also been put in place to ensure that the votes of the blind will be kept secret. A stencil with cutout boxes will help them mark the ballot paper on their own. The last time Singaporeans got to choose a president was 18 years ago in 1993. Results for that election came out only in the early hours of the next day at 3.30 a.m. Now, while the elections department is hoping Singaporeans won't have to wait that long this time around, it is still expecting it to be past midnight before the result is announced. And that is if there isn't a recount. But bear in mind, there were 1.6 million voters and two candidates at the 1993 election. This time, there are four candidates and 2.27 million votes to be counted. Channel News Asia will be broadcasting a special coverage of the Singapore presidential election results from 10pm on August 27th.